All right, Ethereum traders, hodlers, investors, and everybody who's looking at Ethereum for the long term investment, guys, where is the Ethereum market top? When is Ethereum market top gonna occur? Now, guys, you can't really put a timeline into any assets market top or something like that. You can't really time with utmost precision. However, you can determine some extreme long term technical confluences on certain key levels where most of the market would be really interested in taking profit, guys. So let's jump onto the video. But you know the drill. You know the drill. And guys, YouTube Studio tells me that 88% of the viewers come in and at every single video are new viewers. So guys, most of you are new people. Just hit that subscribe. Go ahead and share this channel, guys, as this channel is more of a realistic analysis focused channel. This is not this is not a place where you'll be induced with a lot of FOMO in your minds, guys. We, we do a lot of level headed work right here. No moon boy, no doom boy. However, this video is certainly going to be a little bit of moon boy kind of <laughs> kind of target analysis on the long haul but guys this is i'm, I'm certainly I'm, I'm sure about the fact that you will be uh, you will be way more knowledgeable in terms of the long-term projections on ethereum price action after you watch this video so guys let's jump onto the price action right off the first chart is going to be your intraday analysis i don't know why i have the hourly open but guys <clears throat> whoopsie as I've been talking about the fact that the 200 simple on the 4 hour time frame is certainly one of your trend bearer in the short time frame and this is aligning pretty much the yellow line is aligning pretty much with this base right here at the 1700 zone guys. I've been talking about the fact that how 1700 is one of your key level of interest as every single time the price comes here gets wigged out gets picked up goes up goes up so most of these cells are going to come here and get picked up once again most likely right but if you see some closures and if you see some trending behavior below the 200 simple on four hour time frame then you can extend your downside targets all the way at 1500 but guys i do expect that 1500 zones will be another interest where the liquidity will start entering the ethereum markets again however 1500 is a far-fetched opinion as far as we are trending about the 1700 zone guys now this price action really reminds me of this one right here i've been just i've been rambling about this fractal for a very long time as when we had this when we had this interim medium top around the around the $500 levels on Ethereum, we did, we had it sideways for a very long time, but we were trending above the 200 simple on 4 hour time frame, which was pretty much your trend bearer for this next wave to the upside, guys. This one got broken down right here, okay? So pretty much your 200 simple on the 4 hour time frame is your trend bearer, guys. The short term time frame is as simple as it can get on Ethereum, right? Not much to talk about right here. So let's jump onto some higher time frame analysis. All right, guys, before we jump onto Ethereum, now I had this analysis posted on TradingView back uh, on the 23rd of May 2019 on the BLX index, guys. Now this this is this is just all right. This I okay. Did I just play it? I let me just replay this one for you guys. Wait. All right, so I posted this one out before the happening, way before the happening, guys, way before the happening. And these red lines right here are the happening events. And every single time after the happening takes place, you have this harmonic progression to the upside onto some key Fibonacci levels as the first cycle top was at 40 extension. The second cycle top was at 20 extension. The third one could be could be at the 10 extension and the next one could be at the 5 extension which could happen around 2025 26 maybe so on and so forth around a million dollars per bitcoin right certainly on the card certainly on the card so let's just simply hit play right here this is what is happening guys this is look this is what i want to say anybody can project anybody can see see the supply demand shock and anybody can tell you where the market cycle top is going to be but guys when these things are actually happening the ones to react will be the ones to come out successfully will be the ones to actually back their profits and secure their money for maybe next round of reaccumulation for even 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 further cycles right guys we are in it for a long haul right and most likely, all right, cryptocurrency is going to be relevant for the coming, let's say, 60, at least 50 to 60 years, cryptos will be relevant in this, in this entire sphere of humanity, guys. Cryptos will be relevant. Now, I do not know what, what comes next when singularity and uh, quantum computing becomes a mainstream thing, guys. Most likely, blockchain will progress with quantum computing, but I think there will be some certain, uh, some, some big, big changes uh, with 
the quantum computing taking place in our regular day to day activities guys but until then until then we are going to be simply having these harmonic progressions to the upside guys so yep your btc cycle top according to this price action right here is certainly going to be at a 200k dollar guys that that could happen that could not happen but let's just jump on to how ethereum is doing now guys this is certainly one of the well one of the prettiest charts i've ever made and guys most of the simple looking things are the most are, are the most amazing and the beautiful things guys hit that like if you do agree with that one and guys let me know if i can actually make an nft out of this <laughs> I, i don't know if any one of you knows how to actually make an nft and how to enter these nft markets let me know down in the comments as i do need your help guys i'm looking i'm looking out for someone who can actually uh, make some nfts guys as i um, as i am an artist myself i am looking to get into the nft space and sell my Uh, non fungible tokens as well let's see how that happens let me know down in the comments if any one of you have a good like have good knowledge in nft space and how to make all of these things guys cuz i do not right there's a lot of things to taken care to be taken care in my own world so that's why i'm not been more I'm not been really engrossed in nft space so i really do want to get there let me know if you can help me out right all right so what does this suggest this is this all right let me just break it down for you this is the price action on the line on sorry online we do not have candles we don't have bars we have line analysis this is this is a simple price action line right here as for the long haul you can certainly take these lines to be your analysis uh, to, to be your thesis um, to base your thesis off of right going to be more relevant so and this channel right here is a simple fibonacci channel in a diagonal perspective like this is a diagonal fibonacci channel this is not your regular horizontal vertical fibonacci channel this is a diagonal channel uh, coming in at this bottom right here and this bottom right here right first one being at 40 cents the second one being at a flat 90 dollar ethereum right here right So guys, why do I have this chart right here? As I wanted to talk to you guys about how some areas of inflections are really important, guys. Look at this point right here. Look at this point right here. This one right here. This one right here. This one again right here. And well, we are we are nearing this one right here, right? What does that mean? That means that every single time you are coming around these, um, you are coming around this horizontal, uh, this diagonal trending resistance right here. You are showing up with some amount of hefty price action to the downside or to the upside. now this one coming out of a bear market we had a major explosion we had a major explosion above this channel right here guys you can simply go ahead and draw this diagonal trending resistance line on your ethereum charts as well as this is going to be pretty much your trend dip, uh, trend determiner to the upside now the upside targets are certainly going to be a far fetched opinion off of this analysis that's why i have more charts coming up for this video but guys notice this one how this interplays just just notice this diagonal trending resistance right here as i am in total loss of words guys i made a 30 minute long video right right before this video but the audio never got recorded fuck me man i mean <sighs> all right okay so what happens right here so guys let's imagine that we are trending in this in this in this uh, diagonal trending support line all right Ima just just let's just consider we are doing that and we reach these price points right here at a 3000 dollar ethereum and we start closing some 3 day candles above this channel right here guys that means we are poised for an explosive move to the upside all the way towards this channel line right this is the 6 minute extension in a diagonal perspective and the 6 minute extension if we if we just simply blast in the next coming months you're going to be targeting 10000 dollar ethereum you're going to be targeting a five digit ethereum guys if that explosion happens right this is just how history repeats itself this is this is all right extremely far fetched sitting at 1800 talking about 10000 is a far fetched opinion certainly a far fetched opinion but If history has anything to tell us, it's that it's that this 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 line is pretty significant, right? So you do want to close any three day. You want to start trending basically above this price point right here, and then you can talk about some further moon boy targets for Ethereum, guys. The more we get accumulated in this sideways chop, the higher the targets for Ether, guys. The higher the targets for Ether, right? So <laughs> well, hit that like if you really do like this 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 chart right here, guys. I think it's pretty neat looking, guys. Let's jump on to the next analysis right here, as this is a simple Fibonacci projection. analysis and guys this one being a very irrelevant first wave as this for the ico io kind of uh, areas for ethereum's price action as how as, as whatever sushi swap uniswap are doing right now ethereum did that back in 2015 guys same price action behavior same price action it just keeps on happening keeps on repeating guys supply demand shock in in cryptocurrency markets will lead on to these these sort of price actions every single time right all right where did we top out on this bearish retracement 
somewhere around the 10.764, right? On this entire bearish retracement, we topped around 60.618, guys. Now, this is certainly a very, you can't really compare these ones. That is why I was talking about the fact that this is quite irrelevant, right? This is this is not much of a relevance, but you can see some, some certain profit-taking activities between 10.764 and 20.618 extension as we did get reaccumulated in these zones for about like one and a half year, guys, right? A lot of sideways job happened around the uh, around this extension right here so where are we on the current fibonacci projections if we take this top right here this is this is a candle closing basis so the 1300 dollar region is going to be your top in terms of candle closing basis and your bottom is going to be flat out 80 dollar levels on ethereum right so guys your interim top your midterm top cycle top could be somewhere around 20 to 10 like 10.764 20.618 extension could be your areas of profit taking interest now guys these are certainly far-fetched opinions you can top out here as well guys you can top out here 5000 anywhere but guys if the fundamentals keep on keep on keep on prom like if ethereum foundation has a lot of fundamental promises which are coming to fruition pretty soon then guys this ecosystem keeps on growing nft space will keep on growing the DeFi space will keep on growing which will just extend ethereum price action to the upside just it's just inevitable right it's just inevitable it'll keep on happening it'll keep on extending the price to the upside so ethereum cycle top will be pretty much aligning with the btc market cycle top guys but uh, now this is now uh, this is why i showed that btc chart in the beginning guys that chart had a projection for a two hundred thousand dollar btc by the beginning of 2022 right now 2022 begins and we could be looking at some interesting price action somewhere around the 20k regions on ethereum if the fundamentals and the technicals keep on trending to the upside like this and we get supported by the 21 simple like this we can be simply reaccumulating these zones and we would be looking at some further expansion move to the upside somewhere around here guys this is a simple fibonacci analysis for you right all right you can simply talk about some guys this is what is going to happen to ethereum like it's going to go to the moon it's going to go to a fucking million dollars this is what you wanted to hear right <laughs> as this diagonal trending line is certainly 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 the trend control this is the trend on a macro scale is to the upside guys no need to be bearish on ethereum for the long haul as well i think ethereum will shock the world ethereum will surprise the world guys when the crypto adoption goes to 50 percent 60 percent maybe 70 80 percent guys it's gonna be madness these things are going to be evaluated at crazy crazy amounts crazy amounts let's be prefer prepared for that in the long haul as well guys let's jump on to the next chart we have the 12 hour analysis of the 350 dma now this as i keep on talking about how this is a fibonacci projection on uh, certain moving averages so uh, if you if you calculate some mathematical shit behind this one you get these projections on moving averages and you are quite able to top uh, uh, quite quite able to pinpoint out the major areas of profit taking guys as you can see this blue projection right here is your key profit taking interest in the long haul as well as this price action right here got um, got a lot of rejection right here around well the ultimate profit taking zones were above this moving average right here similarly right here guys we never came in the second wave around uh, uh, near the near this blue line as well but this was the second this was double pump bull market happening with btc i do believe we are somewhere here on ethereum right now we're, we're somewhere here right we're somewhere here right so if i just simply go on to the current price action yep you can see how this is formulating this self uh, on the 12 hour time frame this is getting with the bull market support this is this is simply getting picked up every single time we're coming at the bull market support at currently at the 1600 um, uh, to the to the higher 1500 zones that's why i say ethereum you see ethereum below 1600 you pick it up right you scale into ethereum on those points that is that is what you got to do that is the drill that is the drill if you want to be successfully coming out as well a long-term investor as well now could you could you argue that this price action is similar to this one right here fractal fractal squirrel fractal squirrel let's be fractal squirrels uh market dynamics were different back here market dynamics are different right here very different guys lots and lot of things have happened from this point and this point in terms of fundamental development in terms of the ecosystem growing in terms of the DeFi coming to fruition in in terms of nft space coming to fruition guys lot of differences in the fundamental backing guys that's why this and this price points comparison is quite irrelevant quite irrelevant what i can say right here is this was a simple retest of the prior all-time high breakout and 
if we simply start uh, start turning towards the upside immediately like for example we get supported we get pushed away from the 1500 zones again guys the profit taking zones are going to be starting from the 5000 usd per ethereum guys 5000 to 10000 or to 7000 8000 that can be your uh, key areas of uh, profit taking interest in the mid term if we do break out above this area if we do go to 3000 immediately guys all right if the price action is going to be uber bullish in the short time frames your targets for 20k will be extremely far fetched now guys don't get me wrong anything can happen in this fucking crazy space guys you know anything can happen anything can happen but talking about a 10x price action from current price points is certainly a far fetched thesis guys so let's be realistic uh, let's ha- let's have a realistic expectations as well as you can see this one is pretty much pretty much aggressively trending to the upside guys every single 12 hour close must be 5 to 6 dollar or maybe even 10 20 dollars to the upside guys so the more sideways we get accumulated in this range the higher your targets are going to be the higher the profit taking targets are going to be guys this is a free indicator available the 350 dma you can go what my mic is not one of there for me or what all right you can go ahead and you can implant this indicator for yourself you can check these projections out but guys you have to have this 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 350 dma on your charts if you want to take some profits out of the market successfully and you want to wait for the next reaccumulation cycle to be happening on ethereum so that you can pick some delicious ethereum at most likely a 70% discount guys and you can guys all you have to do is you have to wait guys you have to wait now people trading this one must be really freaked out when ethereum came to 80 but people holding ethereum from these ico points must have picked up ethereum like crazy on to these 80 dollar levels guys we are we are just we are immensely above that price point right now right it's simply above this so whenever you see ethereum correcting by 70 80% like that are th- those areas are your major major profit taking uh, sorry major liquidity entering the space kind of areas guys for long term hold now this one was an exception because the market condition was certainly bearish for ethereum as well we came down retrace 94% guys ethereum lost 94% of its value although i think that if we are in 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 such amount of e- extreme exuberant bull trend guys you can be coming across some 70% corrections like this happening from the upper band right that is why your upper band is going to be your key significant area this is why i talk about 70% corrections being your major areas of liquidity entering the ethereum usd market guys so if you do see the price action hovering above this moving average at some point it will come down and correct 70% that's where you pick up huge chunk of ethereum for next explosion to the upside most likely to 20k so guys we have to be really patient with the 20k ethereum target although the supply and demand mechanics suggest that it is certainly going to happen as the eip 1559 update suggests that ethereum is certainly going to be a deflationary asset henceforth guys that is a big goddamn news for ethereum that's big 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 that's going to create immense amount of digital scarcity for ether guys as nft market is getting incentivization in ethereum most of the artists are getting incentivized in ethereum guys everything is happening on ethereum guys ethereum could be considered as your well as your new money in the coming years and the months so guys you don't want to be left out guys you just, we are very early into the space we have to accumulate on 70% down dips guys this is going to be conclusion this is going to be this is going to be pretty much the conclusion for this video right here if you see ethereum dipping by a significant chunk even 40% 35% got to pick it up right you got to pick it up cuz the long term horizon the long term perspective for this asset stays to be extremely bullish guys as far as the fundamental and as far as the team as far as the ethereum foundation keeps on working on its projects and its development ethereum will certainly go to the upside nft space guys watch for the nft space to grow watch for the defi space to grow these two spaces are your key indicators on ethereum's price action continuing to the upside all right I do think this was a pretty comprehensive outlook on Ethereum price action guys. I'm going to catch you guys on the next video pretty soon. Do let me know down in the comments how do you feel about these charts? Do let me know if you want analysis on any of the shitcoin. Let me know if you want me to check out anything and guys. Well, <laughs> bye for now.